stations or centers of commerce handling passengers, mail, and railway express agency freight, today's UPS or FedEx. The train today is similar to those of the 1950s. Right before the train moves, you'll hear the engineer blow the horn. Two blasts, like this, mean the train will move forward. And three blasts, like this, will mean the train is backing up. Train crews use the horn, as well as hand signals, lantern signals, and radios to communicate with each other. Here we go! Let's hit it wild time! side of the train are three smaller buildings. The brick building is the master mechanic's office. The gray building with glass block windows is the flu shop. And the gray building with fewer windows is storehouse number three. The master mechanic's office had clerical offices for the shop and the Danville division and also stored new locomotive parts. Our guest station is inside. The flu shop prepared steam flues, which are long steel tubes which carry hot air and smoke from the firebox through the boiler toward the smokestack. Now it contains our antique automobile exhibit, Bonker to Bonker. Shore. In the mighty rush of the engine, hall. 
Running through the jungle on the wild ass cannonball. Past the shore, in the mighty rush of the engine. Oh, it's off. From Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. She came down from Birmingham one December day. She came to listen to all the people and what they had to say. She's from Tennessee, she's long and she's tall. And she came down from Birmingham on the Wabash Cannonball. Listen to the jingle, the rumble, and the roar As she flies along the woodland over the hills and by the shore Hear the mighty rush of the engine, the wood was haul As she climbs along the mountains on the wall, bash, cannonball Bump, 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 shipments too small to fill an entire rail car were transferred between cars carrying shipments to many destinations. These included dry and canned goods on their way to shops, farmers' orders of tools and seed, and large catalog orders, including entire malls. Up to 350 freight cars moved through this facility every day. Both the stock cans and transfer sheds were torn down in the 1960s. Hey, Mr. Conductor.
birthday coming up. Backing up. Come on, Mac. Get out of your hiding place. When <laughs> Silver Train Crew announces that it's safe to get off the train. Yeah, you 